Hi, and welcome to EVs and Wrong Way. And today, as I believe the first YouTube channel in the world, we'll be unboxing the Vigode Master Pro. So, let me, let me tell you more about it. All right, so this is very exciting, and it's the first time I'm doing an unboxing in this space. And if you're in Vancouver, Canada, then this is the place to go if you want to check out some electric unicycles, electric scooters, and also e-skates. And if you want to uh, buy something from EVs, there's a coupon code WRONGWAY, which gives you a discount, I believe, on items that are in stock, and there's a lot of stuff in stock but not in pre-order, so just check the links and see, see what works, just the link below. All right, but anyways, this is a heavy box because this is 4.8 kilowatt hours, the biggest battery ever fitted to a electric unicycle and even a very big one for electric muppets or scooters, like this battery is really huge, but I will open that in a second because first, I think it'll be time to open up this box which is the thing itself. Artistic knife. Exciting. David, are you excited? I'm very excited. Monoket, are you excited? It's okay. It's okay. Right. We can see the specs right away here, which is the spec sheet. Pause and look for yourself if you want all of the data. But the most important of it is four and a half kilowatt powered motor, 134 volt, 4,800 watt hours, free spin speed, 122. So crazy fast and a certificate of compliance. Not even a manual this time. And get a uh, Allen key, another Allen key. By the way, if you would buy a wheel like that, you would have it in one box. This is just shipped separately to have uh, it arrived quicker via air shipping. A pump, this is a new kind of pump and I really like it because here on the bottom you can select high pressure or high volume so you can either pump up your tire with it or the shock. So if sometimes this pump doesn't seem to work for you, that's why. We have a charger, 3 amp charger, so it will take what? Maths. 15 hours? 14 hours for a full charge? I can't maths now. But yeah, very, very long time. I'm surprised actually they just give you such a slow charger in the box. Like for a usual wheel like a RS or a T4, that would be all right. But for this huge battery, it's like not really quick. Here we have the wheel itself. Twenty-two inch high torque motor, one hundred thirty-four volt. Very smooth suspension right away, and I think here we have a kickstand. So now we ain't seeing much. We just see the body of the wheel, and I really like the new modular design of Bigode. That you have those pillars here, and you attach the battery. Uh, also seems to be quite durable, looking at a Psycho's crash. But the tire looks surprisingly narrow. I'm not really sure if it'll be good with surviving the high speeds and high pressures or, you know, weight of the rider and a 50 kilogram wheel. But we're gonna see about that. We have also pads, we have everything here. I guess I'm just gonna assemble it off camera and we're gonna go back once it's assembled. So as you can see, the beast is out of the box, fully assembled. It really took some time because I needed to um, first put in the batteries, 
get this top off, connect everything, get another layer off, put on the pads, which are, by the way, secured with uh, just double-sided tape. So if they just get loose and some dirt gets inside, they might stick off. That's the problem I had with the T4. And yeah, it's fully assembled. Pads have like, you know, bumpers here in the front, which is kind of cool, also on the bottom. It all looks, uh, you know, still a bit cheap, as Bigot does. Here we have a cable for the tail light. And this is the kickstand on some springs here on the bottom. So we just turn it off. That's how it works. It's not too sturdy. So it's not the most sturdy, but I'm glad it's still, still there. There were some nooks and crannies, as usual, with uh, Bigode when doing the unboxing. I had to do some more holes or like a bigger hole here in the back to adjust for the mudguard because it didn't fit. And there's some issue with the bottom bracket here moving, but it doesn't do it anymore since the battery is on its side. So I guess I'll message Bigode and see what's up with that. When it comes to the features of the wheel, it's packed. First of all, it's the biggest range wheel ever made, 4,800 watt hours. So I suppose you can easily go 150 or more, 200 kilometers on it. And when riding slow, maybe even 250 or 300, which is crazy. Uh, we have um, the trolley handle, which you shouldn't use for lifting. It's just plastic. So don't use it for lifting. Maybe like grab it somehow, like this maybe. Um, it stays in place here for pushing it around, but really don't lift it by the plastic handle. Then we have a trolley, which is decently high and nice. Here are also the charge ports, which do have a seal around them. So these are the new four pin we also see on, uh, the, sorry, on the master. I'll just post up the quickest charging time on screen. We also have the seat. This top material is now a bit more firm, so maybe it'll be good for your butt, maybe, maybe not. Uh, we have a screen in the front, just the same thing as we've seen on the master, and a button for the lift switch, and a button for the lights. Lights are exactly the same, which we see on the master. Also height adjustable? Yeah height adjustable. In the back though, we have a lot better of a tail light. So this is really awesome. Looking forward to, you know, riding on it and actually being seen at night. Um, we have a small mud guard, which is probably not enough. And most importantly here, the mud guard starts here. So maybe it will not spray on the suspension, but I think it will because it just starts here and not here. Like it's hard to see. I don't know. Or maybe here. Yeah. So this should be probably a bit longer. So we have a shock here. We, I pumped it up to 300 PSI. Don't really know what the travel here is, but it feels very soft. So we'll see how the geometry works. And other than that, well, we have the pads, super small tail side pads. So I wish this would be longer. Uh, a bit of a power pad situation here in the front and here a cutout. So when you sit, you, you can like put your leg here comfortably, or maybe even like that. The bottom pad looks very solid. It could be wider, but you know, you ain't gonna jump on this wheel. And probably my biggest concern is just the tire. It looks very small in this wheel. It's very, very thin, very narrow, and it's still the same as on the Monster V3. So uh, it's kind of hard for me to believe that this is like enough of a tire to make sure that the rider weight and the huge weight of this wheel will be supported. So I just pumped it up to 40 PSI and hope for the best. Oh, and, and of course we have the pedals, uh, which are awesome, the honeycomb pedals, which are also adjustable with the angle and they have pins. And surprisingly enough, there's a height adjustment here on the wheel. So we can go one and a half centimeters lower on the pedals and one and a half centimeters higher. So this is the first wheel by Bigode where you can adjust the pedal height which is awesome. When it comes to the build quality, as you expect from Bagod, some cables here, some cables there, plastic, uh, you know, Happy Meal quality box here. This probably lets in water. So, but happily the, the battery is sealed. And I guess that's that. That's the currently biggest range wheel on the market and the fastest wheel on the market as tested by Unicycle, El Unicycle. He had a cutoff though. 
uh, at 100 something kilometers an hour. He made it at 99 though. So yeah, I guess if you're still here, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Thank you.